This one got hit in this left rear corner, folded up the trunk for it. I have a Nissan Altima here. This one got hit in this left rear corner, kind of down low, all in this area. Wadded up extension right here, the quarter panel extension, and also folded up the trunk floor inside of here. Also, whenever this moved, it shifted this quarter panel a little bit and it buckled it. I gotta pull all this damage out, and when I pull that out, it should release the tension and shift this quarter panel back to where it's supposed to be and then it'll relieve the, the, relieve the tension on the quarter panel right there. So I'm gonna dive into this one first and go ahead and make some pulls and then I will start cutting the rear body panel off. So since this back panel is getting replaced anyway, I'm gonna drill a hole right here and I'm gonna put a plate on the back side and use that to pull off of. Now the trunk floor is actually pulling out very nicely. I'll hammer and dolly it. Once this back panel's off, I'll be able to get in there and hammer and dolly it and finish it out the rest of the way. Make a pull up here now and bring that out some because this is all shoved in and that's probably more so what's causing this buckle in the quarter panel. I take that back. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this first, bring that out and then I'll grab up there and pull that. As I pulled this out, it's relaxed the tension on this quarter panel right here. It's going to need a little bit of glaze work when it's all said and done, but it's definitely relaxed as all of that's pulled out. I just about have this one fit together. 
The trunk lid shuts and latches and seals good. Tail lights line up good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the tail lights back out and get this back panel all welded on. So before I start welding this back panel on, I'm gonna do a weld test with the compression spot welder here just to make sure that it's working properly because it's possible for it to seem like it's working right but not be working correctly. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm putting these vice grips on here and I'm gonna peel it apart. And you can see how it tore out the backside just like it's supposed to. So it's working correctly. All right, well, I just about have this one wrapped up. There's a little bit of fill work that has to be finished right there, but everything came out very nicely. I got my new cue pads down, so I'm going to send this one over to Eric to do a little bit of fill work and get it primed up and get it over to our paint department.